Bob Davis, and I'm running for him the school board. Is this better? Yes. Okay. I was appointed last September. Um, Joe Boyshek was on the school board. He moved out of town. Once you're out of town, you can't be on the school board anymore because you don't live in the district. And I applied and was honored enough to be appointed to fill that open slot. So I've been serving for just about a year on the board, which uh, my fellow board members here will tell you I came in pretty green. I have a lot of experience in the business world, in the legal world, and I thought it might transition a little bit faster, but frankly, it takes a while to come up to speed with all the, the terminology and the different things that happen in the education world. It really is a world in and of itself. But it's been a real pleasure to serve on the board, and I'm hoping to serve a uh, full term now to see if we can't help out. I was born and raised here. I actually, let me back up, my parents were actually graduates of him at high school uh, here in, in the valley. I was born with my older sister in the 60s and graduated from him at high in 1980. Left for a few years, went off, got a degree, came back, and all four of my children have gone through him at schools. In fact, my youngest now is a senior at him at high school. So it's been a real pleasure. I feel like I owe a debt of gratitude to the school district. It's taken care of now three generations of my family and serves us very well. The school district, I think, is in very good hands. We have an outstanding administration team. It's headed by a, a wonderful superintendent who I don't mean to do a commercial for, but uh, she's the real deal. And that can make a board member's life a lot easier. We have uh, a teaching core that is really outstanding. What I bring to the board, I think, the, the thing that may set me apart from the other board members is that I don't come from a background of education. I come from a background of owning my own law firm. I've been doing legal work and owning my own firm for about 25 years now, almost all of it here in the Valley. So I have to meet a budget, I have to meet payroll, I have to live within our means at the firm, uh, and I have the legal background. And Believe it or not, I think the school district is subject to thousands of contracts that, that we go over at all times. So I think I bring a bit different perspective. And, and it's nice for me because I have former educators on the board like Gina Ross that I can rely on for that. And I really do rely upon them for the school stuff. But there's a big business part. Believe it or not, our budget is approaching 300 million. Mm -hmm. I'll give this Vince, what, 270 this year? Yes. We're right, right at 270 million dollars this year. So by next year with the added funds, we'll be right at $300 million budget. And with that, you're, we have a lot of employees. <laughs> <laughs>